What's going on dudes? Welcome to the channel. Today we are building a budget drift slash racing simulator. I haven't posted on this channel in a long, long time. I actually have another channel that I've created over the years, but it's been like since 2017 since I posted here. So today I decided, you know what, we're gonna actually build a budget drift slash racing simulator because I absolutely love cars and I'm still into this stuff and I really, really wanted to build a simulator. So today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to build it and uh, showing you guys kind of like a budget simulator setup that I'm going to be building. So we're gonna go over the parts list. Now before we do, if you guys are new to the channel, smash that sub button because we're gonna try to get around a thousand subs before January. That'd be really awesome. I'm gonna go over a parts list that I actually bought. I got all these parts the other day and they are really cool and I'm really excited to show you guys. So let's get started. Here. First we have a GT Omega, stay ahead of the game, uh, but it's actually a mount for a wheel and pedals and shifter. So very, very cool. Now this is like a semi-budget setup because I can't say it's like budget because you could get like cheaper like pedals and steering wheels and stuff like that and shifter, but this is like semi-budget. So we have the GT Omega, I got that on Amazon for $150 Canadian, I think it was. Now moving over here to our steering wheel and our pedals, we have the G920 Logitech Driving Force pedal and wheel setup. Very cool. Now also we are using a USB hub. So it's like a three port USB hub. I put that in there just so you guys know we are using that as well. And also here we have a um, Logitech Driving Force shifter. Very, very cool. It kind of looks like my Cobalt SS shifter. <laughs> very epic. Um, also we have in here, something very cool. So I'm gonna go in, I'm going over all the parts first before we actually build this thing. These are actually wheels. So you guys are probably wondering, this is just a cockpit, but no actual seat with it, right? So we actually have this, which is our gaming like computer chair, which we're gonna be using, but I actually bought wheels for it that have locks on them. If I can use my fingers to tighten it, there you go. And it actually locks the wheels and we're gonna be using these wheels on this chair. So the, so this chair is actually getting some rims today. Check those bad boys out. These bad boys are getting new rims. So we're throwing new rims on the chair that actually locks so it can stay in position with that cockpit. So those are like the main items here. Sorry about the workbench and stuff. I don't have a table in here. This is like my streaming slash gaming room. And also we are going to be using this TV. It's a 55 inch Toshiba. Um, I bought it years ago. We're gonna see how it works. I think it's 60 Hertz. I'm not sure, but it is 1080p and I have an HDMI running from the top up there all the way through the roof down into my computer down there. So we're gonna set it up with that. We're gonna see how it goes. I'm not 100% sure if it's gonna be great or not. And if it absolutely, if it looks like junk, we can actually like go get like a real like uh, monitor setup, probably like a triple monitor setup or something. I do dual monitor on my main computer here, but I do have a VR over here and I do wanna try um, drifting in VR slash racing in VR because I have a ton of different games I'm gonna be trying out. I've never, now just like a little background check here, I've never ever ever owned one of these setups before. This is the first time in my life. I thought it was really cool because I actually own a Nissan 350Z that I drive on the daily, but now it's turning into winter and it's November something <laughs> today, I don't remember. But I'm taking my car off the road on December 1st. So I decided, you know what, let's build a drift slash racing simulator to play Forza, to play um, some other racing games. I totally forget the name of it right now. But yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build this GT Omega stand first, then we're gonna set up the pedals and the wheel and then the shifter and then we're gonna throw some wheels on our chair the chair is getting some new rims and then uh, yeah we'll see how it is and I'll tell you guys how it turns out so I'm gonna do some time lapsing we're gonna build this GT Omega and let's get started all right so check it out dudes we actually finished building it my time lapse actually screwed up I'm sorry about that but whatever um, the video got corrupted somehow but we have right here is the Logitech G920 setup on the GT Omega stand with the shifter on the side. Now it actually came with two different poles here, which you guys would have seen in the time lapse because I kind of stopped during the time lapse and showed you guys stuff, but you guys can see it. So it actually comes with this pole that you can place down here 
right in there instead and you can actually have the shifter a little farther back now i haven't played with it yet so i don't really know if it's gonna go well or not and then it comes with this bracket so you can install the shifter to it everything was very very simple to install as you guys can see there's these little dials here and they actually have clips i don't know if you can see that if the lighting's bad but there's clips under here that basically it goes into and then i put two bolts into it, it has two like thread spots that you can bolt up and then this one is purely actually did this one get bolts too oh yeah this one got bolts too so that has bolts too and it has clamps so it's very very sturdy um also the hardest thing to do is the pedals so the pedals i recommend if you're building this setup do the pedals first because i have i put everything else on and then i had to like lean it over with everything on it to put the pedals on so it's kind of a pain doing it that way but it looks amazing now i also did a little bit of cable management i tucked some wires here and there and then i used a couple zip ties and stuff it came with a couple velcro straps but i didn't really use those it has a power bar leading up to the steering wheel as you guys can see and also i mentioned earlier in the video that i was going to be using uh is it over here i don't know where it went but there was a usb hub we actually don't have to use the hub because everything connects into the steering wheel and then the steering wheel actually has one usb cable right here that plugs into your computer so very very easy setup honestly super simple setup this stands really really good so far it's a little unsturdy but there are little adjuster wheels at the bottom little legs you can actually adjust so that's pretty meant and then uh, the steering wheel does plug in i forgot to mention there into an actual uh, outlet and yeah, it looks good. So I have it all plugged in. Well, except for that part, but I have it all plugged in like my monitor and everything into the TV. Everything is good to go. And I actually got the wheels on the chair. They were very, very simple to install. And they have these little locks that you press down and you can lock the chair into spot. And I tested it and it works great. Absolutely great so far. Oh, and I also put some stickers. It came with some GT Omega stickers. I put them on the side. They look kind of cool. And of course, it came with a big bag of hardware that you can go through if you want to add stuff on, certain stuff like that. One thing I am missing that you guys might notice, I called it a drift simulator. Well, we are missing an e-brake handle, which I will be buying in the future. As you follow the channel, we're going to get upgrades and do different things to this setup as we progress in drifting and racing online and doing stuff like that. It'll be a ton of fun. All right, my dudes, so that's going to be it. I am going to show you guys a little clip of me uh, driving. I'll put my camera over here or something on a tripod and I'll show you guys a little clip of me driving and actually using it. And yeah, and then next week I will come out with a review and let you guys know what I think about the pedals, what I think about the steering wheel, what I think about the shifter, what I think about the stand, any complaints I have. So if you guys are interested in seeing the follow-up video, make sure to smash that sub button so you guys don't miss it because you guys might want to know how does all this gear line up? Because in total, this build cost around roughly 600 to 700 dollars canadian so far and that is not including the chair that is also a 300 400 gaming chair that i bought a long time ago and plus you have to pay for the tv so these setups are not cheap right so honestly just you might want to do your research before you buy it but i did some research and uh i came out with the most like budget budget build i could i'm sure you could get cheaper stuff but this is the cheapest i could find all right let's switch over i'll show you guys the actual me using it and then that'll be it for the video so thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit that like button and smash the sub button because we're going to try to get a thousand likes by december all right peace out my dudes and enjoy the footage